So that leads us into what are the causes of Dowager's hump? Well, unlike um, the times of Downton Abbey, where it was, you know, just aging and fatigue and sometimes osteoporosis or poor posture, today it's devices and it's our computers and it's our soft chairs and it's our um, laissez-faire attitude in schools and at dinner tables. And so no longer are children being encouraged to sit up tall repeatedly. Um, it's not considered a, uh, an important part of uh, a young woman or young man's demeanor when, you know, um, um, part of a social circle. It's quite common today that you'll see people hanging out and young people and everybody's just sitting slouched and that's just part of the way of being. Now that becomes really challenging for you as a listener and for us as therapists um, when you want to change your posture and optimize your posture because all of a sudden the causes which is just habitual slouching become something that you need to habitually unlearn and so um, that's the, I would say 80% of the causes of poor posture or what leads to a dowager's hump um, occasionally and especially in my population I will see women who have had multiple fractures of their vertebrae and when that happens then the vertebrae themselves become wedged and in the shape that's no longer more of a, a flat edge on each end but rather the front of the vertebrae takes on that wedge shape and then that does also encourage the spine because one bone being stacked on top of the other is encouraged to take on that deformity or that shape. There are a, f a few other medical conditions that are associated but uh, with um, the dowager's hump or that kyphotic posture and also what's often seen what people tend to worry about or the cause is this big fatty pad that sometimes people will get here. Well the body is very intelligent and if you have to hold up an 11 pound head all day long then the body is going to try to create more strength in this area by laying down more um, tissues and so you get this big fatty pad sometimes and it's your body's way of trying to deal with the forward head posture. So those are the main causes, so environmental, our chairs, or how we sit in our cars, how we hang out all day, how we sit at our computers, how we're on our phone. So those are the main causes of faulty posture that will lead to the fear of Dowager's hump.